debate on art science interaction is not new. So I'm pleased that, that this uh, place has become one of the pioneering environment for having artists and scientists together for a month and see what, uh, what comes out. Uh, we got this idea a few years ago because our founder, Carl Jurassi, had a foot in art and a foot in science as one of the inventors of the birth control pill. He was also a poet and a playwright, and we thought, what if we were more intentional about pulling together artists that had one foot in science and pulling together scientists who had one foot in art? So it's our second year of inviting artists and scientists up to live with one another for 30 days. We've got a great partner with Leonardo, the International Society for Arts, Sciences, and Technology, and they work with us to make sure we have a broad array of international and national cognitive scientists, medical doctors, physicists, geologists, and then on the art side, we have poets and playwrights. So it's a wonderful thing for them to get to talk to one another about the creative process, the things they share, what makes art science collaborations successful, and the things that make them different from one another in their training, as well as in the way they express and do their work. What is going on here is happening very organically. Um, in that we're not in a scientific meeting room. We're not, you know, in a very sterile environment. 